everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing great so let me just release its illuminate and shine range and there are two eyeshadow palettes in this range one is a very warm toned palette it's called gold the other one is a very cool toned palette it's called silver and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create four different makeup looks using the silver palette as you can see this palette contains very cool colors like purples blues and silver shades in it and texture wise these palettes are are super finely milled and they're actually quite buttery and they go on really smoothly on the lids and they're very easy to blend but uh, pigmentation wise these eyeshadows are not opaquely pigmented but in a way I think it's good because this makes this palette much more wearable and much more appropriate for everyday wear so starting off I've already primed my lids and I've also filled in my eyebrows now for look one, first I'm going to take this mauve purple toned color and I'm going to place that all over my eyelids. Taking a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend out the edges and soften it out a bit. And then taking this light black shade or should I call it a dark grey black shade I'm just placing that onto the outer corners of my eyes and then taking a fluffy brush I'm going to blend it out and just soften it out a bit. Then I'm using this light purple shade and going over the center of my eyelids to just kind of make the eyelids pop. Now this eyeshadow palette lacks a light neutral matte shade to highlight the brow bone. So I'm going to be using my face powder to do that. And since I'm going for that soft subtle look, I'm using the same black eyeshadow on my lash line and then kind of giving it a slight flick. And then once again blending it all out with a fluffy brush. For my lower lash line, I'm just applying some of that mauve toned purple shade. Lastly, I just curled my eyelashes and applied some mascara to both my upper and lower lashes. And that's it for this look. I really love how subtle and soft this look is while being smoky and sultry at the same time. But if you want, you can always go ahead and rim the inner line of your eyes with some black eye pencil to make it more intense. Moving on with look number two, firstly I'm taking this light silver eyeshadow and placing that all over my lids. Then I'm taking this darker silver shadow and placing that on the outer half of my eyelids like this. And then taking a clean blending brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges to soften it out. Taking this black eyeshadow and placing that to the outer half of my eyes to kind of intensify the look and to give some depth to the eyes and then blending it out again. I feel this silver shadow works much better with the fingers than with the brush. So I'm taking it with my fingers and just applying that to the inner corners of both the upper and lower lash line. Lastly, I applied some eyeliner to my upper lashes and to the half portion of my lower lashes. And then I'm just taking some black eyeshadow and smudging the lower line out. And there you have a subtle silver grey smoky eye look. For look number 3, I'm going to start off with this new blue eyeliner from Lacme. I'm just drawing a thick line over my eyelids. And with these eyeliners, you need to warm it up before applying it. So make sure to do that. So next, I'm taking this a blue eyeshadow from the palette and just placing that over the eyeliner to really intensify the blueness of this look. And then taking some of this grey eyeshadow in a fluffy brush, I'm going to blend out the edges. Taking the blue eyeshadow again on this fluffy brush, I'm going to go in between the two eyeshadow colours to really create that smooth gradient. Once that's done, I'm taking the blue liner again and placing that over the half portion of my lower lash line like this. Lastly, I just added some mascara and my cool blue eyes is done. And this is definitely the simplest and easiest look to do. So moving on with the final look, I'm taking this light purple eyeshadow again and I'm only placing that to the outer and inner corner of my eyelids and leaving that space in between empty. And then I'm connecting these two on the crease area like this to create that halo effect. And then filling in that empty space in between using this white silvery eyeshadow. Then taking this mauve purple shade, I'm just going to go over my crease area in wind sweeping motions to really soften out the lines and to really get that smooth gradient effect. 
Next, I'm also taking my face powder and just highlighting my brow bones. And then I'm taking this mauve shade again and placing that on the outer corner of my lower lash line and then connecting this line with the upper line. Then I'm highlighting the inner corner of my eyes with the silver shadow again. And lastly, I just went in for that thin winged eyeliner. And I'm also going to take some of that black eyeshadow to kind of smoke out the lower lashes. And there you go, you have your four different eye makeup looks using one single eyeshadow palette. And in case you were wondering, I'm going to be doing four different looks with the other palette that is the gold palette as well. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Take care and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Today I'm going to be swatching and reviewing the new launch by Lacme and it's their Absolute Illuminating Shimmer Lipstick Collection. 